Hello there, my name is Fernando and I'm a developer advocate here at GitLab. And today I'm going to go over one of the newly released features in GitLab 17.6. Today I'll be covering vulnerability report grouping, which allows security analysts to group vulnerabilities and then apply batch triage on them, saving time and optimizing the triage workflow. In order to access the vulnerability report, from the side tab, select Secure and then click on Vulnerability Report. The vulnerability report provides information about vulnerabilities from scans of the default branch. You can group vulnerabilities by selecting the list next to Group By. I'll select Status, which groups the vulnerabilities by their status. Now I can look at all the vulnerabilities that need triage and I can go ahead and change their status in batch, applying a comment as to why the status was changed. I can also group vulnerabilities by severity, allowing me to take on the most critical vulnerabilities first. I can also group vulnerabilities by the tool or scanner used to detect them. And I can also group vulnerabilities by the OWASP top 10 criteria. Vulnerability grouping allows security analysts to optimize their triage tasks and utilize bulk actions on groups rather than individual vulnerabilities. When selecting a vulnerability, you are taken to its vulnerability page, which provides details on the vulnerability, how it impacts your system, and how to resolve. You can even use advanced SAS to get the code flow to see how the vulnerability interacts with various files and functions within your application. You can also use AI with GitLab Dual to explain the vulnerability, providing detailed explanation, exploit information, as well as how to resolve the vulnerability. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. To learn more about GitLab, go to about.gitlab.com or see the links in the description. And be sure to click that subscribe button.